Now, y'all already know what time it is. It is time for the mess, so let's get into it, you guys. <laughs> Now, what's going on, you guys? What's going on? This be your boy, Scott About Nature TV, and we're here for a brand new episode of Yes for the Mess, okay? We're here for all the mess and nothing but the mess, and we're here to talk about some love and marriage Huntsville tea right now, okay? Now, before we get into the love and marriage Huntsville tea, let me let you guys know what I got going on right about now, and that is the Boss Babe Awards, okay? The Boss Babe Awards are held on April the 10th. Um, not April the 10th, I'm sorry, April 30th, 2023 in Atlanta, okay, and I'm nominated for Boss Babe YouTuber of the Year and Boss Babe um, Podcast of the Year with my best friend and co-host and business partner, Jamar84, okay, we're both nominated for Boss Babe Awards this year. Um, Voting has now started, so if you guys have not voted, the link is on my community wall right now, it's on my Instagram story right now, and it's also in the comment section um, pinned in the comment section right now, okay? Make sure you guys vote for me for Boss Babe YouTuber of the Year and vote for me and Jamar Bo for Boss Babe Podcast of the Year, okay? We are really trying to get this, you know, we're running a campaign right now. We're trying to win these awards because these mean something to us. This is the second annual Boss Babe Awards. They recognize LGBT content creators and people like that. And this is our first time ever being recognized for our work in over 12 or 13 years that we've been on here. So shout out to the Boss Babe Awards for actually giving us the opportunity to be nominated and shout out to the Scotty gang and the Rant Pack and the T-Squad and the Dun Duns and everybody else that support us, okay? There's been so many people supporting us, so many different content creators showing their support, just everybody. So continue to do that and we greatly appreciate it, you guys, all right? Now, with that being said, we're going to go ahead and get into the mess. Now, this is my first video of the day. So um, after this video, there will be a yes for the mess a little bit later and then there will be a review of Love and Marriage DC, okay? So you're going to get three videos today. Three, I told you guys, your boy's back on this grind this month, you know. Period. I, I can't keep I can't stress it enough. I just can't stress it enough, honey. OK, now, before we get into anything, um, we're about to I'm about, about, I'm about to let you guys know what we're here to discuss. And that is Miss Destiny Peyton Williams. OK, now, as you guys already know, Destiny has been in the blogs, especially in the Love and Marriage Huntsville sector. OK, she's been in the blogs. Um, she recently did an interview with my boy, best friend, um, giving you the real tea, which actually went well, contrary to how her interview went with another friend of mine, Anthony lofties um she recently went online to say that she had to buy some protection to protect him, herself from other bloggers um she feels like bloggers are now threatening her allegedly in a sense you know she feels like people are coming after her um and stuff like that um I will say that um, a lot of bloggers are, you know, there. she has been the target. I'm not going to lie to you. She has been a target, in my opinion, um, of many people, mainly the fandom. OK, <laughs> you know, I don't really go in on Destiny like that. Like I give her a little bit of the business, but I don't drag her to the point where I'm calling her Destiny and all of this other shit that everybody else call her. I just don't. I don't think she does anything that horrible for me to really just go in and call her Destiny and shit like that. But she does have. I will agree with the people when they say that, that, that her attitude is off-putting, okay? She does have an off-putting attitude, and she comes across mad aggressive sometimes, and sometimes it's not even warranted. I don't, you know, and I really believe that a lot of it has to do with what she has to do with on social media, but you have to change the narrative, and you have to control your own narrative, to be quite honest. So, um, you know, I guess if she shows herself in a better light, people won't have that much to say about her. I know I'm all for giving people chances, so who knows? But, you know, um, recently there's been talk online about the open house that LaBerry set up for the house that she now that she currently lives in. You know, she said that she was about to refinance her house in one of the um, interviews that she did. And um, come to find out, LaBerry has put it up for sale and there was an open house. As you guys already know, like I said, one of my good friends and, you know, up and coming blogger, um, Anthony Lofties actually went to the open house and, you know, he did a whole live, you know, spilling tea on the situation, which, you know, was hilarious, I must say. And, um, you know, a lot of people tuned into that and a lot of people had a lot of things to say about it. And, you know, Chris Fletcher was a part of that situation. Now, apparently, as we already know, Love and Mary Charlesville is already filming season five. And apparently there was an event going on for Martell where Destiny confronted Chris Fletcher and his wife got involved in it. And it looked 
look like this and they was trying to put them paws on Chris Fletcher and his wife. Let's get into this. Now, shout out to Anthony Loftis because he actually sent this to me um, in my text messages while I was at work. So um, shout out to him. He know I'm going to give him the credit. And plus, how can I not give him the credit when his name is all over the damn video? Shout out to Anthony. So with that being said, let's look at this. <laughs> As you can see, that was Destiny, you know, basically letting Chris Fletcher have it in so many words. She was really letting his ass have it. She was all up in his face, and then the wife was standing right there. Like I said, she looked like she was ready to put them paws on him. But I'm trying to figure out what exactly is she going in on him about. That's what I'm trying to figure out, like. Are you mad at him about being involved in the open house? Because if that's what you're mad at, then why are you mad about that? Because at the end of the day, he's still going to get a check. He still got to do his job. So it really don't matter. So what exactly are you going in on this man about? And then you trust to do it at an event? Child, when I saw that head moving from side to side, I was like, okay, she really mean business. Let's look at this one more time. <laughs> And the fact that Letitia had to pull her ass back, you know, she was ready to go in. She was ready for business. I just want to know what's really going on right now. Like, you know, what's really going on up in Huntsville? OK, like, you know, I'm surprised that she was even there, considering that most people were, were speculating that Destiny was fired from the show. So, you know, they said she was fired now. So what exactly is she doing at this event? So apparently she's not fired. So is she going to be a main cast member or is she going to be a friend of the show? We really don't know, but we're going to find out. But I'm curious to know why she was all up in Chris Fletcher's face. Most people think that it's about the open house. That's what I was told, and that's what I heard, too. But I don't know how true that is. I'm just giving y'all what I heard. But um, in so many words, you know, Paul Destiny, you know, it, it's crazy to me how she finds herself in all of these situations that don't make her look good at all. And it's just like, you know, I'm not here to continue to dump on her because I feel like most people are dumping on her already as is. So I kind of feel bad for her in a sense, but it's like, girl, how can I feel bad for you at this point when you are telling, you know, telling half truths? Like you made it seem like you were refinancing a house and that you owned it. And now your ex-husband is set up here and decided that he going to sell it and got an open house for people to come and look at the house. So, I mean, what what exactly did you expect for people to believe? So now you got the bloggers coming up coming after your nick and now you mad at the bloggers but it is what it is but i'm glad that she did talk to t though because you know we got to see more about her and less about her beef with melody and everybody else so you know i i felt like i got to know her a little bit better when she talked to to t but I, i'm not really sure but um for more information about that open house and for more information about how she really feels about the bloggers i'm gonna need for you guys to go over to anthony lofties because he has all of the tea because he was actually at the open house so i don't have much information about the open house because i wasn't there because i don't give a damn however anthony lofties was there and he has all the information so go over to his page and check it out so with that being said that's really all i got on this um what do you guys think about that how do you guys feel about um destiny going to this event popping off on chris fletcher and his wife let me know and i just want to know how you guys feel about it so with that being said you guys this will be a boy scouted by nature tv be sure to like rate comment subscribe and share this video and also click on the notification bell so you can be notified whenever a video drops if you want to follow me on any form of social media my instagram twitter and my tiktok will be down in the description box and also make sure you guys vote for me for Boss Babe YouTuber of the Year and Boss Babe Podcast of the Year for the Boss Babe Awards. I'm out of here, you guys. Until the next one, I will talk to you guys a little bit later. Bye. <laughs>